Welcome to Grandpa's Workshop. Firstly, as always, a big thank you to all my subscribers. And this week, I'm taking a look at this Seca Multifunction Scribing Tool. I've been sent this tool for free, just to try out in my workshop. Right, first of all, I'll take it out of the box. Instructions, pencil leads, the scribing tool, and the pencil. Right on the box, it says wide application. This is a multifunction tool with over 15 marking applications including tiling, paving, stud walls, gables and panelling and infill panels etc. There's a diagram on the back of the box. On the side of the box it's four little pictures including parallel marking, compass, profile scribing and edge roll. I'll have a look at the instructions, put it together. Right, I'll start with the pencil. Press the top to move the pencil lead out. And to put the pencil lead back in, just press the top back down and just shove it back in. The top also unscrews and you've got a little mini sharpener for your lead. Right, to fit the pencil, loosen this off, pull this out, lock it up, loosen this, pull this section out, lock it back up, insert the pencil into this section, lock it up, obviously you can set the depth of that where you want it. You can move it about as much as you want. Well, that's it assembled. You get six replacement pencil leads, which is really good. Because the last thing you want to do is run out. There's your instructions, lots of small writing, and if you're like me, you can't read them without your glasses, otherwise it's all blurry. Right, all I'm going to do is take a look at the four main features that's featured on the box. This can be used like a regular compass, just by opening it up and drawing your lines. Or, because it's fully adjustable, you could set it like that, open that up, put that down there. And I forgot to get the compass pin out. Because here, you've got a small screw in pin so you can set it like that lock it put that like that lock it undo that raise your pencil up a little bit and then here you insert your little pin so you just hold that down and mark your line But as I say, because it's fully adjustable, 
you can flip it over put your pencil back in lock it up again holding the pin you can do bigger circles the next function I'm going to look at is parallel marking and all you've got to do is this edge here put it against the edge of your piece of work and run it down you've got a parallel line to that edge because this is adjustable like so you can set that to create whatever distance line you want from your edge of course as I say because it's adjustable you can lock it in place and do your line Right, the next function we'll cut is the edge rule. So you can set that to whatever distance you want from there to there. Then just follow it down. But that sort of function I'd normally use. A little square like this because it's already got the numbers on it well that's not a bad little feature to have to have everything in one little tool it's a good idea some measuring increments on here might have been nice for that feature all right I don't know if you can see it on the box but it shows you're going round I'm assuming that's a door frame with some molding on it I haven't got any moulding or anything like that. I haven't got any laminate flooring to lay at the moment. So I can't really go into too much detail with that. But I'll show you how to set it up for that. Loosen your pencil off so you can pull it back. Lock it in place. Rotate it. Lock it in place. Undo that section so you can slide it so you can set it as far or as close to the pin as you want so lock that in place bring your pencil leg through and then you simply run your pencil make sure this is nice and straight up to whatever it is you're doing and of course if it's moulding you'll be moving it in and out at the same time that I think is going to come in really useful in the future when I have to do things like laminate flooring right I'll give you my thoughts on this uh, marking tool I do like it Pencil body is plastic, the body of the tool is metal. This is going to come in useful. I think it's more, for me it will be more useful when I have to do things like laminate flooring for my wife or my daughter. Uh, I don't know if it's me, but these little adjustment knobs I'm over tightening them so sometimes it's I'm really struggling to get them undone I have had to use a pair of pliers on one of these apart from that it seems to be an alright little tool let's try this little pencil sharpener out
yeah, that works well, put some nice little point on it. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.